I wanted a thermometer with a digital readout for an upcoming bushcraft video, so I purchased this mess tech model. It arrived today so I thought we could unbox it together. Because I wanted to show the intense heat of fire, I chose the IRO-1D as its range is between minus 50 degrees and 800 degrees centigrade. It comes in a sturdy box which will be useful for storage in the future and is supplied with two AA batteries. Installing the batteries is straightforward enough. Just unclip the drop down flap and check you have the right orientation for the battery. The measurement size to distance ratio is displayed on this chart but is explained more in depth in the manual. The laser display helps you easily target the area being tested. The other side of the unit displays a warning regarding the laser emitted when in use. Operation is simple, just point at the object to be tested and pull the trigger. Now, clearly at this point it would be foolish to read the manual, so let's point it at something hot and see what happens. Okie dokie, now we've scratched that itch we can look at the grown up bits. The unit comes with a comprehensive manual in five European languages. All the relevant readout displays are listed and the measurement methods explained. How to program the unit is comprehensively gone through but I'm going to show you how to do it shortly as well. Target distance ratio is explained, as is radiance and emissivity. Emissivity is the ability of an object to emit infrared energy, which is then converted to an accurate heat reading. A comprehensive table of surface radiance settings is included, so you can program the unit to give as an accurate a reading as possible. And finally, how to install and replace the batteries, just as we covered earlier. Und jetzt die Deutschen Anweisungen. And now to customise the unit ready for use. Holding down the mode button for two seconds takes us to the program settings. First we have the opportunity to set the temperature range. When set, readings outside this range will activate an alarm. First the high setting, and with the press of the mode button, the low setting. Another press of the mode button and we can set the radiance figure. Here we're stopping at 0.93 which is the radiance setting for water. A further press of the button and we can choose either centigrade or Fahrenheit as our scale. And a final press of the button gets us back to the beginning. How accurate the unit is is our next test. All I have to compare it against is my Kane 455 analyzer, which is due to be recalibrated soon. And more's the point, we're not really comparing apples with apples, but on both hot and cold, they are fairly similar. The thermometer is able to accurately track an increase in temperature, as demonstrated here with this char cloth cotton ball. One thing to note regarding the IRO1D is that it is not suitable for measuring human body temperature. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching our videos. Please like and subscribe to help us grow the channel and bring you more of the videos you enjoy watching.